Swayces have just released a brand new BIOS for the RG Ally in 339. So let's have a look at what's changed and compare the old BIOS 338 to this brand new 339 update. So let's dive straight in and have a look at the change log that states that this brand new BIOS 339 has changed the fan curve from 30 dBA to 35 in turbo mode when plugged in and 25 dBA to 30 in turbo mode when on battery. The minimum fan speed in manual mode when the Ally hits a certain temperature has also changed. If we head into Armory Crate, then across to Content, then to Update Center, we can see that yes, this brand new BIOS 339 should now be fully rolled out and available for us all now. So I'm going to record gameplay before I update starting at 15 watt manual mode with the great little indie title on Game Pass called Another Crab's Treasure. I'll record with no sound throughout so we can hear how loud or quiet the fans are and I'll have the square real time monitor in the top right to check our temps too. Okay, so we can hear that the fans are almost non-existent and they didn't kick in at all for the 10 minutes or so time I played this. So let's download BIOS 339 by clicking update all in Armory Crate's update center. Oops, need to plug in, rookie mistake. It'll take about 10 minutes, so I don't know about you, but I think now is a perfect time to grab a hot cocoa and snack, kick back and enjoy a pancake intermission. So BIOS 339 has just finished installing and we can see here in Update Center that yes, it is showing as being installed. Let's now hear how quiet or indeed loud the fans are again in Another Crab's Treasure on this new BIOS 339. Wow, so we can see, or should I say here, that this new BIOS 339 has made the fans kick in much sooner than the old 338. And in the 10 minutes or so of my playtime, I did find that the fans kicked in, then dropped off alternately every few minutes or so, which was a little unusual. I'd love to hear how you're finding how long it takes the fans to kick in on this new BIOS 339 at 15 watts, so do let us know in the comments. As about here, the fans went really quiet. Next, let's test out 25 Turbo on battery with a fantastic Resident Evil 3. Okay, so pretty quiet on the old 338 at a temperature of 74 degrees. Let's now hear the difference of the fan volume now on the new BIOS 339. So what did you notice? For me, there were three things that have changed. The first is that the temp is now slightly lower, hovering around 70, 71 instead of 74. The second is that the wattage is now 30 watts instead of 25, just as the change log states. And the third being that this new BIOS 339 has made the fans quite a bit louder than the old BIOS 338. And finally, let's see any differences at 30 watts turbo plugged in, first here on the old BIOS 338, testing out the incredible Senua Saga Hellblade 2. And you regular viewers know I've featured this quite a bit in recent videos, and it's because I'm still blown away that a game can look this good on a handheld. Okay, so relatively quiet. That was my 12 year old daughter Eva singing in the background, by the way, not music from the game. And here it is at 30 watts plugged in on the new BIOS 339. Obviously in the first few minutes, the ally ramps up the wattage to 43 and the temps are a bit terrifying at over 90 degrees. So let's make it fair and test after five minutes when the wattage dropped to the low 30s and the temps got into the 70s too.
Wow, so the fans are noticeably louder on this new BIOS 339 now, although as a result the temps are about 5 degrees lower than the old BIOS 338 on both 25 watts unplugged and 30 watts plugged in. I'd love to know how you're finding this brand new BIOS 339, so do share your thoughts and any tips in the comments below to the rest of our awesome Ally community. And to me, it does seem that Asus are trying to figure out a balance in these BIOS updates between us current Ally owners, whilst also preparing for the upcoming Ally X and the different fan configuration on that new handheld. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Whenever you find yourself doubting if you can go on, just remember how far you've come. Remember everything you have faced, all the battles you've won, and all the fears you've overcome. Then raise your head high and forge ahead, knowing you got this. When we're going through really tough situations, it's so easy to forget those battles we've overcome previously. And you know what? You're going to overcome this battle too. So stay encouraged today, guys. I really hope you enjoy these chilled out ally update vids so hit the thumb if you liked it and subscribe if you're new to the channel and loved it and keep watching to find out who wins the ultimate pc handheld battle between the rg ally and the steam deck oled i appreciate every single one of you for watching and i'll see you in the next one